the only thing I haven't found somehow There are other places, there are a million pretty faces I want to where I About the future, but the future never came. Try so I just have my pancakes. If you want this strip, you have to pay twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> twenty dollars a later, everyone. That isn't what I said. No, but that pancake was very, very good. It was too good. Okay, so here's what I wanted him to say, and I'm just not saying it. <laughs> I was. You know, what are you? What were, look at. I can't get you and I in the same frame. You're too tall. Do you ever go through that period when your kids get to a point where they're <laughs> they're finally as tall as mom and they feel like they've got like victorious? No, I'm the no. tallest one in the family. <laughs> no, I can't get them in the same Side phrase with with if you've never tried pancakes with real maple syrup, you're missing out. You're missing out on a lot of cuz my boys my boys believe that the only thing that they could eat on their pancakes was the table yeah. syrup that's filled with, it's you know, a lot of sugar and uh, corn syrup and stuff like that. Real maple syrup is way better. You gotta try the real maple syrup on your stuff, guys. Our syrup isn't overly um, sweet. This it is. It's, it's, it's so sweet. It's sweet, but it's not overly dark. So it's not a dark syrup. It's so like amber. It's an amber, like more of a goldeny stuff. So you can make it dark though. Just boil it longer. No, that's not true. Is it based it, on it the like sap that comes out of, of the tree. That's what I learned. So. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> we've uh, we found that we are liking That's your logic. Just cook it that we are liking the uh, the real maple yeah, syrup. Back to the work. Back to work. They had a little break, so. Hello, welcome guys. This is Amber from Family Life. Oh, it's windy. I hope that this uh, this mic sock that I have is going to block some of that wind sound. Anyways, I am uh, this week. We are going to. Um, clean out our crate. We had uh, purchased a shipping crate in an effort to try and help with some of the, the clutter and not necessarily the clutter but the, the overflow of storage. So I'm going to talk to you quickly about that and what I have experienced since we've moved here to the country property. And I would say that the biggest learning curve for me has been really adjusting to the minimal space I have. We move from a very large home. Tiny home living is certainly not my issue. Um, I'm happy in this cottage style home that we're living in um, to have the, the tranquility and the peace. And there's something kind of um, cleansing about um, living on purpose and living with less stuff. And we did, we did a lot of purging and we did a lot of um, downsizing, but our home <laughs> literally has one closet in your bedroom. This is Eli. Hello. Oh, <laughs> um, he's got a, he's got a closet. Each of the the bedrooms have a closet, and then we have one um, main closet for jackets and stuff. Other than that, we have nothing. Um, so there's been a really intentional shift that's happened um, since we've moved here and I really need to make sure that what we're keeping is stuff that is necessary, which is, let's be real, it's necessary to have Christmas decorations, <laughs> right? Like, come on. So yeah, that's kind of what we're going to be doing this week is uh, cleaning out that crate because every time I go into that space, my boys have claimed it as their own. So my intention is to try and see if I can kind of clean that space up a little bit. And goodness knows, I feel like I'm kind of overflowing here at the house lately. Um, today is kind of, it's a little bit chilly, but um, today is the first day really that we've had some, some nice weather um, that is worthy of hanging laundry on a line. I don't know about you, but when it comes to country living, this is probably one of the best things I love is having a laundry line. My boys absolutely hate towels coming off the fresh laundry line. They're hard, they said. They don't like it. We fluff them up and let them warm up a little bit in the dryer, but for the most part. Okay. I keep them on the line 
I don't care. I, pr I try not to use my my washer dryer. Actually, it's kind of funny. The first, so we've lived here. This is our fourth summer, and for literally last year, we got a washer and dryer. So um, up until then, I was packing our family's laundry and taking it to a laundromat. So <laughs> it was it was quite. Uh, I wish this would focus on me better. There you go. So yeah, we would we would pack up our laundry and take it to the local laundromat and what an ordeal and process that was I really dislike that so uh, Frank snuck a, a corner out of the bathroom for me and hooked up a, uh, a washer and dryer and got me hooked up the the washer and dryer was going to be in the addition that we were building so um, since we kind of pause that for right now we decided to put it in the bathroom which it's kind of working perfectly so right now this is um, laundry on the line yeah. drying laundry on the line I love it especially bed sheets <laughs> All right, guys, come along with me to the crate and see what kind of damage is there. There's our resident duckies, or our geese. We do have ducks here too. I just don't see them here now. They like to fight over that little island and lay their eggs in it. We've only usually ever had two, but now there's four. Hopefully that's as much as we get. Hey, girl. All right, I'm gonna head up to the crate. Oh, I'm heading up to the crate. We gotta do some work. But first, we gotta stop at my garden. Let's see what's there. I planted some uh, frost hardy seedlings. I don't know if they've germinated or not because holy smokes, we've had the last few weeks have been so cold. You hear that? Yes, that's our fifth wheel that we put away, Odin, uh, for the, the winter. Um, we got to get it out and get it ready for the season. It, um, it's one of those sound things and it helps to keep away unwanted guests. It helps, it really does. We've tried all of the little tricks. That seems to be the best. All right, let's see if we got any germination happening. Well, I've got my garlic here. There's the garlic all coming up. My radishes, of course, they're coming up there. So here's another little lesson learned. lovely steaks at the dollar store and I marked everything and we had a ton of rain and as you can see <clears throat> the permanent sharpies that I used wiped everything off so <laughs> I'm going from what I remember I where I planted things. I've written everything I planted down. These steaks are t perfectly... Oh, I can see I got kohlrabi there. These steaks are perfectly cleaned off. So, I don't know. There's an alternate we need to figure out. I'm pretty excited. We got some germination happening here. Yeah, that's good. Here's a big volunteer. I'm not sure if it's a cucumber or squash. It is something that came up there that wasn't planted. Oh, this is good. All right, guys. This is. Yeah, what's those? What those shoes look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be. You're, oh, look at that. You got two pairs. You bought. 
three you pairs. You bought two, you, you like them so much, or you forgot you had one? Yeah, but those well, these ones are really quick. Kind of yeah, so them. this is kind of what we're dealing with, guys. Um, this majority of the stuff in here is Mama's Christmas decorations. And, and Mitch's plywood. And my overflow. But for some reason, my son constantly, my oldest son constantly brings his project material that isn't oh, there's tarps in here. <laughs> required there's tarps out down at the garage i'll go get them okay. if we need them but we don't really need them i think no, we can, it's, a sunny, it's, it's, it's a sunny day it's not wet for us no, um and i don't think that there's a lot of donate stuff in here i think this is no, already this is all, our, stuff all of our it, stuff that's keep stuff so we'll just What's it's about it's really more so about really reorganizing the space show. and oh, then um as long as the trunk is Okay. Frank installed those bars at the very back of the crate so that we could hang up our winter winter clothes and things. So, yeah, this is not going to be as big of a project as I thought it was going to be. It's actually pretty already. I know it looks like a bit of a mess, but it looks I like a bit done kind of taking everything out the kids helped me do a lot of the stuff um, let me just show you what came out of this place like I don't even know yeah this doesn't even give it justice I'm gonna walk around how is it possible that all that stuff was inside that little space all that's going back in is the stuff that we're keeping a lot of this is going to donate and sell um, there's a lot of really good valuable things in here that we just don't use anymore. So we're going to just kind of let another family love on it. So so the only thing that's remained inside this, this is Mama's stuff. <laughs> all nicely and neatly organized. It's all most of my Christmas stuff. This is going to come out actually for the summertime. We'll use it for the pool. Um, but I kind of wanted to bring this mess to you. Yeah. Okay. So, not sure if you all have husbands that are like this, but bless mine, because this actually is a secondary pile of screws and nuts and bolts that I had done. I had done one like this in the shop earlier this year when I cleaned that space out. And now that I've done this space, I've come to learn that there is another heap of screws and nuts and bolts. And the funny thing is, is anytime Frank has to do a project, speaking of which, like specifically these nails, he is working on the deck and he needed some deck screws, galvanized, whatever, and went and bought a new box because he couldn't find these. They can't find the tool they need to do the project they have on hand and so they go buy another one. So the next thing you know, you've got six tape measures and you've got nine hammers. And yeah, that's my husband. But here is what happens when you get organized. If you put something back in its place, then you know where it is when you need to go back and get it. Um, I actually had a, at the old house, I had um, a pegboard and I actually went as far as tracing the, the tool that belonged in that spot so that when he was done he could put it back and he knew exactly where it was that lasted all of about two minutes so um, those kind of things just unfortunately I try to use all of these strategies and techniques to get um, to get them organized and nothing has worked so yeah it is what it is and hand picking and going through and sorting what screw goes where and I just know he would never do this. 
Oh my goodness. I guess this is just the patience that uh, he does not have. So I am going to go through. Anyways, <laughs> I will speed this up for you because this is awfully boring. And I'll be back to you in about an hour. I'm sure it'll take me a while. We can Okay, so I'm here. I'm almost done. I don't know about um, about you and what your organization uh, strategy is, but mine is <clears throat> mine is to clear it all out and then bring it back in and only bring back in what we'll use and what we need. Um, so this was filled, as you can see earlier, was filled with things that just no longer had purpose and it had no no longer had need for it. Um, but it has value, and it's it's like. One of those things where we know we've spent a lot of money on it and we just don't want to either you know throw it away or perhaps sell it for pennies on the dollar so it's kind of one of those things that you end up keeping um and i'm here to tell you like in this whole transitioning to the country and living the way that we are it's just you only buy it buy it only if you need it necessarily like we have so much stuff and um, I have nowhere to put any of this stuff. And so the, the, what ends up happening is it gets it gets kind of neglected and or left outside or whatever. And it gets ruined anyway. So there's no point in um, keeping this stuff if you're not going to use it. And that's kind of what I learned when we moved out here was just to, to downsize and repurpose and, and um, you know, just, just stop buying all the crap that the commercials or all of the things have told you you need to make life easier because it's not true <laughs> okay so this desk here is obviously a throw out because it's like rotting so baseball bat desk old collection Today is um, the next day after the, um, the crate cleanup. We got it all cleaned up. I ran out of daylight and I ran out of battery. But I didn't do much. <laughs> we, I, de I definitely felt like I, I had um, fallen down a rabbit hole whenever I started cleaning the nuts and bolts, and that took me hours. So lots of those. A lot of those. So, anyways, we're finishing the deck today. But Doing wanted, the railing. We wanted you to, to thank you for hanging out. So Ooh. keep on keeping on, guys. Stay safe. Never came. Tried living in the past, but never did quite feel the same.